Good morning and welcome to the Etsy virtual event on boosting the impact of research and innovation through standardization. I'm Guy Daniels and in this session we'll be looking at how Etsy and the 5G IA work together to converge research and standards. And to explain more, I'm joined by Ricardo Trivisono, Chairman of the 5G IA Pre-Standardization Working Group and David Boswathic, Director of New Technologies at Etsy. Welcome both of you. Thanks very much for taking part in the event today. Ricardo, if I could start with you, could I ask what are the main activities of the 5G IA work group on pre-standards? What is the purpose of the group? Good morning and thank you for your invitation. So the 5G IA pre-standardization working group has two main objectives. On one hand, we have been tracking and advertising the most notable achievements towards standardization of Horizon 2020 research projects. And on the other end, we've been organizing activities like workshop, webinars, and so on, aiming at facilitating standard impact to the benefit of running and future research projects. And what would you say have been the main achievements of the group to date? We have many actually, but I would mention the most notable one. Um, in the second quarter this year, we launched a survey aiming at identifying the intended and achieved impact of 5G PPP projects, trying to understand the success factors enabling projects to make an impact, as well as the main hurdles preventing some other project from doing so. And the results of the survey, which, by the way, are available in a technical report that you can find at the workshop website, were quite interesting. It turned out that the very vast majority of projects had indeed the ambition to transfer results to standard, especially to 3GPP and Etsy, which were targeted by over 80% of the projects responding to the survey. And the survey also highlighted an essential factor for projects to be successful in delivering research results to standard, which was having a clear understanding and a clear alignment of uh, standardization bodies roadmap. Very revealing results, Ricardo, and we'll come back to some of those later in our discussion. But if I could turn to David for the moment. David, what has been the involvement of Etsy? Well, we've really started working together only recently, let's say about four months. We've started talking coming out of this summer as a result of a suggestion from the European Commission. So thanks to Bernard Barani again there. Um, and it was really logical that Etsy got inside the 5G IA working group on pre-standards because it's where we need to be. Our mission this year and for, for the subsequent years will be getting standards closer to research and research closer to standards. So the best place to do that is in a community that regroups all of these major 5G and eventually beyond 5G research communities. Um, I, I've been invited in warmly, I've participated to their cause, I've been able just to um, give a few messages about what we're intending to do, where we're intending to go, and, and, and so far it's been very, uh, I think the results of, on, on a small amount of investment on my part, it's been very, very good uh, outcome on both parts, so I'm very pleased so far, and there's more to be done. So, David, obviously you've had a, a good experience of, of this working relationship, but is there anything in particular you, you, you've learned so far? Yeah, well, I, I, was, I was very positive, positively surprised on several levels. First of all, the community. I, 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 I expected to walk in finding a load of a group of researchers that I wouldn't know. But first of all, the, most of the community uh, Etsy knows already very well. Several of the experts are very active in Etsy and extremely active in, in 3GBP working groups and plenaries. So that, that's very good initial feedback. Um, they know exactly what's going on inside 3GBP and they already know where to participate, which is really good results. There's very good participation of 5G IA generally in 3GBP and 5G IA are a marketing representative partner of 3GBP. So there's already a long history of cooperation there. And they, they know what is happening with 4G and 5G and eventually uh, the beyond 5G standards. So that's very good. I was really pleased as, as Ricardo mentioned, the initial survey of impact 
of um, research results on standards, it was very positive, very high. We saw that already uh, results of research coming into 3GPP and into Etsy are significant. So there's already very good success in that area. But of course we can do better. And I, I really sincerely feel through an, a minimum amount of investment, so it's relatively easy, we can improve on that figure next year and see even more 5G beyond 5G research projects getting positive interaction with Etsy and 3GPP standards activities. So I think that's very good. So we say it's relatively simple. So all we need to do is get to it really. Great, and picking up on that one, Ricardo, what are the next steps for 5G IA and how will you ensure that the acceleration of, of research gets and makes its way into standards? That's a good question. We are working quite hard in that direction. As David was saying, it was sometimes middle 2020 that David and myself happened to have a conversation and we found out that we, are, we were actually pursuing a common objective, which is actually the title of this workshop boosting the impact of research and innovation through standardization. And since then, we have been exploring together opportunities to, to work to, towards this common goal, also looking at the upcoming Horizon Europe program framework. So to answer your question, recently upon the conclusion of the survey and also following some constructive discussions we had together with the European Commission and Etsy within the pre-standardization working group, we have been working at the Beyond 5G roadmap. The intention here is to define ex ante a pre-standard roadmap aiming at funneling research results of future projects to standards to boost the impact of Horizon Europe program on standardization and at the same time strengthening the role of the EU research ecosystem. David, same question to you. What are the next steps as you look to accelerate research into standards? Thank you, Guy. Well, let's see is certainly stepping up our involvement and our commitment to work with several uh, ETPs, European technology platforms. And we will continue to work very closely with Network 2020 on their strategic research and innovation agenda as it evolves, and also with 5GIA. And we've committed to this uh, future cooperation and collaboration by uh, upgrading the LOI to an MOU which will be signed in the coming days around this workshop uh, to really formalize our intent to work closer together to get better results. And as Europe mo moves towards 6G, uh, well, obviously we're at 5G now, but we're moving beyond 5G and, and the research for 6G. Etsy intends to be an active standards partner um, at the forefront of these research projects, really there to accompany them, to advise them and to help them if they have any questions about standardization, how to get involved, where to get impact, and really the value of adding that standards element to their research projects on the way to rolling out to European and global solutions. So we really do intend to be present in that conversation. Uh, in the new SNS platform that that will be rolling out next year or later this year, early next year, and just make sure that they have a standards partner who is there to advise and, and, and help them. Ricardo, the survey you mentioned earlier illustrated how your members want to get their research into standards, a very clear route for that. So how important is a close cooperation between bodies such as 5G, IA and Etsy, along with clear road mapping of activities? Well, I think in general, the, the bottom line is to, to make the relationship between research and standardization as close as possible, facilitating any possible alignment or early discussion. So in this respect, of course, it's extremely beneficial to have a constant discussion with Etsy uh, because this really ensures that every standard initiative or any, let's say, upcoming interest from standardization perspective is well known in advance also from the research ecosystem. This allow a good al alignment between these two worlds that sometimes are not as connected as they should. And probably this way we can facilitate the technology transfer from research to standardization. Thank you. And David, it really sounds like Etsy is looking to strengthen its cooperation work with research partners. Uh, for sure. I mean, that is the, the my sole purpose in Etsy these days is ensuring that we reach out to research and innovation and then capture that, that, that technology 
potentially in Etsy ISGs or technical bodies or new projects. So that, that is my raison d'etre, as they may say. Um, I think it's very important to, to agree that we want to move forward together, but also it's very important to look at it practically and pragmatically. So later on in today's session, we'll be having deep dives on three areas of technologies, some of which are European, uh, European funded projects, others of which are areas of innovative um, uh, research, but really looking at how to steer that research into potentially Etsy standards groups. I'm really, I keep on going on about it, but I really want to move beyond saying words and promises and really moving into seeing what can be done practically. So we're going to be looking at um, radio revolution, um, security and big data, artificial intelligence, three projects on how we can move forward and bring early output into pre-standards in Etsy ISGs or in Etsy technical bodies. So I really think we need to, to walk the talk. Sounds good, I'm looking forward to those. A, a final question for both of you, and let's start with David. As we move towards the new year and we progress with research for the, the next generation, the next G, if you could request just one change in the way things are done for research and standards for 6G, what would that be? Um, I think it's all about Better understanding. So getting to know each other, I mean, sounds like a dating agency, but getting to know each other, um, <laughs> the value of standards, the value of research, um, what value standards can bring to research projects and research output. Obviously, when you bring uh, innovative technology through standardization, you add in certain elements of, uh, let's say, quality assurance, interoperability, uh, readability, and the buy-in from the bigger industry. So that's the va a value of standardization. But also, without innovative technologies and research, Etsy will not have an innovative work program. So we need to make sure that we really capture as much as possible everything. And to do that, you need to be, uh, to know each other. So a lot of education and a lot of explanation, a lot of, even down to the university level, education about standards, the value of standards. How can we educate the future generation of, of, of uh, telecom engineers, making sure that they don't just look at open initiatives and research but they also think about how can we use standards as a tool to make sure that my ideas get to market. So really understanding and education between all parties. Great, and Ricardo, same question to you. What would be the one change that you would like to see in the way research and standards are done for 6G? It's a hard question. There are a lot of things that we can actually improve, but just looking at what happened to the 5G, let's say inception and standardization, I would say that there are two key words in this respect, uh, communication and alignment. So I think the research uh, ecosystem and the standardization body should communicate as much and as frequent as possible. And at the same time, there should be an alignment between these two worlds, such that uh, the moments when the standard uh, is uh, expecting some proposal or results, the research has already produce them and made them stable. So two keywords, communication and alignment to me are pivotal for succeeding in delivering research to 6G standards. Nicely said, good, good advice from both of you there. Well, Ricardo and David, thank you both very much for joining us on the programme today. Now, we have many presentations, panel discussions and interviews across this two-day event. And if you've missed anything, don't worry, it will all be available to watch later on demand. Stay with us now for our next session, which is a presentation on terahertz wireless technology. Goodbye for now.